Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. You've been there for more than three days. Batra, you and I know that while your father was around, he never traveled. Not because he did not have the money to, but because he never wanted to. Our family doctor will link you up with some good pathologists you will work with. Okay? I think you're right. You have a point, Mom. So if you insist, then it's fine. As long as they wouldn't tamper with the autopsy, I'm all in. Whatever has to be done, has to be done in earnest. Because the burial arrangements have been concluded. Then let's get to it. I will quickly freshen up and, you know, get into something more comfortable and eat some food. I'll see you later. You're welcome back again. Wipe your tears out with it. That is unfortunate to us all, but it's a face that will pass. Something scares me. Scared. Scared about what? What if this? It's a plan. A plan? But by who? How? I don't understand. How do you mean? I can't wrap my hands around it. But I don't feel safe here anymore. The Queen once threatened me. The Queen threatened you? When was that? I am sorry, Your Majesty. And with all due respect, there is no amount of money that will make me abandon my father. I want you to think carefully. I want you to think about this offer carefully. Because if you reject it, you will live to regret it for the rest of your life. And trust me, I will make life so miserable for you from your first night at the palace. was exactly what she said. She emphasized on from my very first night. And the 
fucking died on our first night. The queen threatened you and she did not speak to me about it. I didn't want to bother you because I knew you were broken as a result of my union with the king. I was broken. But he still did not change the fact that I would always protect you. And I swear, with my last breath, no harm will ever come to you. Please. Do not leave with fear. And my father? Still being taken care of by the palace maidens assigned to him. He sends his condolences. Did he not ask of me? Of course he did. He wanted to follow me to see you, but I reminded him that you were meant to see this place now that you're mourning. Oh. <laughs> now I miss my father soothing words at this difficult time. I miss his presence too. Please take care of him for me. Please. I will. I also need you to know that your father is depressed with everything that has befallen you. Here is one thing you'll do for him. Be strong. As much as I would love to stay here, I have to get back to my duty post. Stop crying. <laughs> Babe, I got you this. I think you will need it for me. Abby, you know need them. You need to hire your Johnson level. Your papa don't buy, your papa don't buy. Eh? You won't fool and die. Be good, right? to be high. Is it because my husband is no more? That is why you have the guts to flaunt my orders? We're sorry, Your Majesty. But we felt... I it. don't care about what you feel. My orders were loud and clear. Your Majesty, please, is, is it possible for you to be a bit lenient on her? Will you shut up? Shut up! Who are you to tell me what to do? Listen, go to her chambers and evict her with her whole belongings. Yes, Your Majesty, right here. If you hesitate, I will personally go and do it myself. Get out, Your Majesty.
I'm gonna be watching you today. Baby, you want to go to structure? What is structure? Please let me go. Please. Please let me You're go. You're not going anywhere. Is my own guard challenging me to a fight? Your Majesty, I am not challenging you to a fight. With all due respect, Your Majesty, this is not right. We are still mourning your husband. Will you shut up? The elders will hear this. You. You will see. In my heart, in my soul, in the time, I'm alone and I'm a you are not going anywhere. Please, please. Please let me go, please. I said, you're not going anywhere. Let's go back inside. Let's go. Zenganga was buried. You people have already started fighting. Have you done mourning the king? Zenganga was a visionary leader, a man of peace and integrity. How do you think he will feel in the land of the dead? He will not want his home to be in crisis. Both of you can live in peace. Um, let the hawk perch. Let the eagle perch. Anyone that begrudges the other the right to lose, let its wing break. Yes, so I'd rather lose a wing than lose my whole body to the fangs of death. This white witch will leave this palace. No, no, does Yako. We are still making vithers and and investigations. And we cannot do anything now until the 100 days of mourning the king is over. Awole has to remain in the palace till then. Well, mm. you all will bear me witness. If anything should happen to me, Hold that responsible. We all know that there is power in the tongue. Lola, please, be careful how you use your words. The male dog said that why he raises one of his legs when he's urinating is for the whole world to know that he does not have swollen testicles. Ibi. <coughs> You cannot urinate on a man's back and say it is raining. The new bride here is still mourning the death of our late king, Ezenganga. Eh? She will not be evicted from the palace until it is proven that she has a hand in the death of our late king. Yes. Ah! <laughs> My elders.
I, I swear with Chukwo Kiki. I do not, I do not have a hand in the death of the king. Abia. Ahole, <laughs> sit. Nobody is accusing you. At least, not now. Everything has to wait until the end of the 100 days of mourning the king is over. Sit. times have I warned you to stop feeding my enemy in my house? I didn't. She know I don't have that time. Patra asked me to give it to her. Patra did. My friend, why would you be feeding my enemy fat in my house? I thought we already discussed about this. Fine, we discussed it, but we did not arrive at anything. Why would you be feeding my enemy fat in my house? Oh, for God's sake. Why are you still insisting on this even after you saw the autopsy results? How am I even sure that her boyfriend did not tamper with that result? Oh, give me some credit, mom. I am not that stupid. Or are you forgetting I am a certified medical doctor? Not just any doctor, a practicing one with the New York Presbyterian Hospital. And just to clear your doubt, I had this test carried out in three different hospitals. So why are you still doubting? Mommy, please. It's enough shame already that our father, the king of this land, died on top of a woman. Imagine if people get to find out it was as a result of excessive intake of sex enhancement pills. My point exactly. Mother, that would be a very big stigma on our family names. Shut up. Now get into your room. Okay. Mom. Mom. I heard you clearly. But there is one thing the autopsy results did not establish. Which is? That those fools want to relegate me to the background while they take up the mantle of leadership. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, OMG. Mommy? How do you come up with these conspiracy theories? How do you do it? You seem to underrate those fools. In my heart, in my soul, in the time, I'm alone and I'm a true. I am Why are you doing this to yourself? For days now, you haven't eaten anything. I've lost appetite. Oh, Willie, you have to eat something. You have to eat. Why are you starving? I'd rather starve than bear the burnt of the humiliation and shame. You are allowing this thing to eat you up. I already told you it's a face. It will pass. Everyone has turned against me now. But I am not against you. I am with you. I already told you I am here to help you ease the burden. Please. If you still have value for me, I need you to eat. Please.
I'm sure the girl was asking for more. I mean, you know, give me harder, harder. <laughs> Not knowing that your father is old. <laughs> like, harder. <laughs> <laughs> you're crazy. <laughs> Oh, I was there. Hey, you the I, I know you. Oh, was he a <laughs> You're so smart. But that was really ridiculous. I'm sure she killed your father. Your father, not mine. Not our father. Killed our father. <laughs> but I miss him. Though. Mm, you miss him. I got you. If you were here, you would be smoking here. Oh, boy, boy. Oh, I miss him though, but I, I love the sad. <gasps> You are a bad girl. You are a bad girl. So you don't miss your dad. What is this smell that I perceive? What is going on here? You girls are smoking Indian hemp. Do you want to smoke? It's, I mean, obviously, it's essential to life. We're just using it to ease over our grief, baby girl. And you think the best way to ease your grief is by doing this? When did you girls start doing hard drugs? And when? And what sort of question is that? Are we babies to you? Chimamanda. That's my name. Are you aware that smoking can reduce your lifespan? Hmm? Babes! Listen, baby girl, anything can reduce your lifespan. Tell her. All right? Even if you go down the road mm -hmm. and you meet a tanker mm -hmm. that will fall on you. Babes, you don't die with that. No! Tell so her, you Calm need down. to be enlightened. Smoke kush and be enlightened. This is enlightenment. This is so disgusting. This is not nice. We're still mourning our father. Huh? It's we? two months. Take a chill pill. It's two months. Mm -hmm. Father said, go don't forget, say you die. So mm -hmm. calm down. Right? Eh? You think so? A king's first daughter. Adeze. Is this what you have to say? Calm oh, down, sis. Eh? Calm down. What else is there to say? Okay, if you don't want to smoke kush and be enlightened, go ahead. Continue to mourn you very soon. Him and his ancestors will come and carry you. We'll join them. I am so fed up. I'll be rolling in his grave right now. Oh! Babe! Chill! Chill! Sister! Chill! Mom! 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 All plans have been concluded with the federal government apparatus. It is in your community's interest that this business commence immediately so everyone can smile to the bank. Let me ask this question that has been on my mind. Okay, go ahead, sir. How much are we talking about here? Oh, yes, we believe so much in improving the lives of your indigenous community. And at the same time, that is the reason why we have decided to pay a huge amount of $2 million for this said project. And at the same time, embark on a constructive project that could benefit the life of your people. That's correct. $2 million? Yes. yes. Did you say $2 million? Yes. Well, in that case, I have to discuss this extensively with the cabinet members first. Um, like I said earlier, Mr. Prime Minister, we do not have such time on our part. As a matter of fact, every necessary document has to be signed and filled immediately. So that your community can be the doors as an oil producing community. I, I think you know what that means. Yes, I heard you absolutely well. We will get back to you very soon. Very important. Thank you, gentlemen. You are welcome. You are welcome, Prime Minister. Anyway, we are done discussing business. I think it's time for us to uh, go into some merriment. <laughs> I think it is very, just... very expedient. <laughs> that would be and, great. And very, very necessary. <laughs> and bye, bye. Man. Uh, oh, please come over. Uh, it's your look. 
Pigode. Pigode. Oh, my Richard. Pigode, two million naira now. Two million dollars. Two million dollars. Pigode and a naira. Chimo. Not, 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 not. Hi! Thank you, not, not, not. I shall not be here, dear. You have to hear me now, forever. You have to hear me Not, not, not. Eh, what? Can't you remember now? Can't buy a go kata ba. Go go only and go 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 700 million naira. Iji e? Iji e? Oh no, what's going on? 700 million naira. Million? 700. Mm-hmm. You go do? Hey! Well, I got it for you. Where is it? Hey! What's going on? Mother, I don't know. Hmm. 700. Million. Yeah. Naira. One, oh, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hey! And this is for only one year of mining. Before they will go into infrastructural development for our people. <laughs> but, uh, oh no. Did you give them a list of the projects our people urgently need? Iche Madoka. You know, I cannot take that decision all on my own. Oh, where? Mbano. Right. <sighs> this was the vision of our late king, Ezenganga. Unfortunately, he's not alive to spearhead the project he started. Anukube, mm. I don't think this is the right time for us to lament about what has already happened. What we need to do is rally together and chat a way forward. Hmm? I thank both of you. But the pertinent question still remains. On whose ordinance, whose authority are we going to finalize with the oil company? Um, well, no, you are right. Our king is no more. But we have to forge ahead. We must forge ahead. Huh? Huh? That is to say, we will not allow this golden opportunity to elude us. But, but, because it has a lot of benefits, especially for our people. Mm. Uh, but the question is, who should be our next king? Because our late king is in Ganga. Eh? We'll not be happy if we waste time and lose this great amount of money that would have helped us in developing our community. Let us take first things first. We will go to the palace and settle the scores between Lolo and Awele. Yes. yes. This is the right step in the right direction. Exactly. Oh no. Today is the 68th day since we buried our late king. Traditionally, we still have 32 more days to mourn him. But things have changed. And the essence of this meeting is for us to all brace up and prepare ourselves for the era of the new king. It is a pity that Ezenganga did not leave a male child before he died. 
but we must forge ahead as a people. So I will ask you first, I will, because it is your decision to make. I know you are still a young, beautiful and attractive lady. Have you concluded arrangement with your father to return the bright prize so that you can be free and have a liberty as a maiden? Or would you like to remain in the palace as the late king's wife? My elders, there will be no need for that. Huh? Hmm? What do you mean? I, I, I am. I am pregnant for the ah! late. Hey! Huh? I knew it. I've always known this has been your game plan. But it will not work. Hey! No, no, Doziako. Please be quiet. Caution yourself first. Because you are in the presence of the kingmakers. And the heart of the wise man lies deep in the limpid water. Elders, I have kept quiet for too long. But you see this one? I will not let it go. This girl must have to swear before the great deity of Ogunabali. You will go there and swear that Odinga is not responsible for this your pregnancy. Wait, wait, wait. Mom, just wait a minute. Do you mean Odinga, the royal guard? Yes. Hey! Woman, I understand your temperament. Do hmm. you realize the weight of these allegations? Hmm. An allegation that Ogunabali will make the truth to prevail. <sighs> I want you to examine yourself once more. To swear before Obulabali is not a child's play. It is not something you can toy with. Because Obulabali kills the high and the mighty. The strong and the weak, and the young and the old. I ask you once more, who is responsible for this pregnancy? Ezenganga, the late king. Huh? Hey, mama. Now listen to me. If this is a joke to you, it is rather distasteful. And you have to re-examine your head so that you come back to reality. Ezenganga slept with you for only one night. I repeat, only one night from where he slumped and died. And you're here claiming that he is responsible for your uh, pregnancy. How, how, how possible is it? No, tell me, how possible is it? That... That one night, he deflowered me and took my pride. Come, I sit down. That one night changed the curse of my life. And that one night, he planted the contents of his seed deep inside of me. I will. I just hope you are telling us the truth. It is only a fool that tells the depth of a river with both feet. You'll be digging your grave if you are lying to us here. Ha! Ah, a moment, elder. You want to fall for that cheap lie? Eh? She has to swear. You must swear. Get the camera, Kodu. He who beat the drums. For the downfall and unrest of Agada Kingdom. The gods will not allow it to sound at all. No! Awole, prepare yourself to swear before the great deity, Ogulabali. Okay.
Yes, so sharp shooter. Hmm, goalkeeper. Yes, you. You must swear. What rubbish, mommy? Mommy, please, I need you to calm down. Please, calm down. I should calm down and watch that girl take everything I've labored for. No one listened to me when I told them something was amiss. Nobody. I mean, this whole thing is not adenal. How could Odinga just give up his girlfriend for the king to marry? Mommy, this is not something that should eat you up. Please. I mean, thank God for technology. And times have changed. There is a proven medical procedure that could determine who the real father of a child is. Mm -hmm. And it's called DNA. Isn't it obvious? Isn't it obvious? Hmm? I smell a rat here. This is conspiracy. She meets with the king today. Three days after, her bride price was paid. She sleeps with the king. That first night, she got pregnant. <laughs> Mommy, I am not disputing your conspiracy theory. But the truth is, a man can actually impregnate a woman at the first instance they met. So, you are supporting that? Oh, hell no. Come on, Mommy. How can you say that? I am not. I am only stating the obvious facts. Go ahead. Just go ahead and be understanding, then that girl will take every of your inheritance. That is when reality will dawn on you. Things are about to get complicated, especially if that woman gives birth to a male child. Are you looking at the possibility of her giving birth to a male child? Or if our late king is in Ganga, is actually the one responsible for her pregnancy? Ha! Well, I don't know what to believe anymore. Let us wait until after the oath taken at the shrine. Then we can now go ahead and do whatever we can about the matter. Mm, 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 mm. There's an iota of truth in what she, she said. Yes. Remember that the sheet was stained with blood. Mm. Which means she was deflowered. Yes. The sheet was stained with blood, actually. But we cannot say for certain if it was her own blood. What are you insinuating? Well, going by the conspiracy theory from Lolo Dozako, that woman could have sprinkled the blood of an animal on that sheet in order to deceive us. Ha! Ha! The girl I saw is very innocent. She won't go that far. Uh -uh. Who would have believed our king, Eze Nganga, would die on top of a woman? This life is full of mystery. Yes, we are in perilous times. If Odinga was actually in a relationship with Awele, mm. then Lolo Dozako must have been saying what our eyes are yet to see. If it is hidden from the eyes of men, is it also hidden from the eyes of the gods? Mm. <laughs> Let us wait for Obunabali to reveal everything for us. Who's of them? I we will wait, we will wait. So, as I was saying, when you do not have a couple of ways, you do not have a couple of 
Obu na bani. Obu ya mbundu na tuya ojwa. Obu wa simu na nkiri kiri kare kiro do mwe chido do de yuzu. Isu kwa mdebe belu ugo bele nke sinibi ya belu nkukwa jye ya. Oku na nakbafu mpwa. Olu wano mme. Olu wano mme. Ano mano kuru ndeku. Obu wa jokuwe jokuwe jokuwe. Eee. Obu ya mbundu na tuya ojwa. Babu de nini ya baru raruru? Alo sabo tefe, all one. Mm. My daughter, try the calabash and drink from it. Obuna ba ino lo kese me. Eh. Alo sabo tefe. Ya. Ya. Obuna ba ni. Obuna ba ni. Asi na ka alo sara na kwa ka kebo keje bi ewo. Nuku alo se. Obu enye mbudu na tuyo to. Ogwa je oku azo oku. Olu onu. Bring your two hands. Uh -huh. What is that? Uh -huh. My daughter. Hold it strong. Don't be scared. Hold on, my man. Caro Sara no kwaka kibo keje buye mo. Uh huh. No nyaka mi yoku. Uh huh. Repeat after me. That I mention your full name. I. I will. That I've come before the sacred shrine. Of Obunabani. I have come to the secret shrine of Obunabani. That I have come to take an oath of innocence. To defend my innocence. Before the sacred shrine of Obunabani. Before the sacred shrine of Obunabani. That I have no hands in the death of Ezenganga. And he is responsible for my pregnancy. That I have no hands. In the death of Ezenganga. And he, the king, is responsible for my pregnancy. I hereby declare in truth that I'm innocent of this allegation. I hereby declare in truth that I am innocent of this allegation. That if I have a hand in his sudden death, let Obunaba strike me with agonizing death now. But if I have a hand in his sudden death or lying about this pregnancy, let Obunabani strike me with agonizing death now. Okay. She's innocent. How come you never mentioned to me that you're pregnant? I didn't want to bother you. Bother me? What are you saying? You know everything about your mothers to me. I have placed enough burden on you already. And I have sworn to always be there for you. To help you ease the burden. I'm getting fed up already. Wish I never got into this. No. It's not a time to regret. Listen, Aulia. Everything happens for a reason. I can't 
not even live a normal life anymore. Everything I do becomes suspicious. I know. And I understand. And I show you one thing. Very soon. You will be happy again. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> All those kind. Very kind. Uh, <laughs> mm. Oh, Maricha, as beautiful as her mother. Yes. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> mm. Yes. Mm. Mm. Papa, you know that thing. Uh, if I need anything, I'll call you. Alright, Papa. Thank you. Huh? <laughs> <clears throat> Where do we go from here? Our tradition is silent on issues like this. How long do we stay without a king? Why the only deal is yet to be concluded? Hmm? You see? It's all over the news that oil has been discovered in our land. Very soon, we shall need the ordinance of a king to deal with issues that confront us. <clears throat> uh, uh, wait. Wait? For how long? Huh? No, for how long? Uh, we all know the tradition of our people. If a king dies without a male child, the kingship leaves his lineage to another. But in this case, Awole is pregnant. We we'll have to wait for her to deliver and know the gender of the child. Diplomacy is the key word here. Um, uh, well, oh no, you have spoken well. But don't you think that this period of waiting it's rather too long. Is it not better for us to wait and follow the traditions laid down by our ancestors than deviate from it and incur the wrath of the gods? Our land must be protected at all cost. Cheers. Cheers. <clears throat> and talking about them. This is turning into an obsession, Mom. I just thought you will not understand. What else do I need to understand? You summoned her before the deity to take an oath, which she did, and she has been vindicated. But what you have refused to explain to me is why you're still doubting her. I knew my husband very well. He did not impregnate her. Mom, stop! Stop! Stop saying this, please, I beg you. This is becoming embarrassing. 
I've explained this to you over and over again. A man can meet a woman just once in her ovulation period and she will get pregnant. Why are you not understanding? I told you initially that you will not understand. I knew my husband very well. He couldn't have been responsible for that thing growing inside of her. No. Mom, stop looking at them. Listen here, let me talk to you, please. Mommy, I am really worried that you're still worried. It bothers me to see you like this. I am not happy. Mom, can you concentrate here, please? Okay. I give you my word. Once she goes to bed, once I will it delivers, I will file for a DNA paternity test to determine who the real father of that child is. For now, please calm your nerves. Please. It should have been late by then. You don't understand what I'm talking about. My fear is, what if she gives birth to a male child? Oh, God. My reign here as the queen will be over. And I'll... it's going to be a big disgrace. Can't you understand? Mommy, this is the 21st century. Mommy, can you listen to me? I'm talking to you. Mm -hmm. For one second, please, look at me. Let them be. This is the 21st century. Dad has lived his life. And now he has passed on. Don't you think it's time we moved on with our own lives? Please. Patra, shut up. Shut up. If you don't have anything reasonable to say, you shut up. I'm talking about power and affluence here. What do you know? Do you know that mining will soon commence in this community? Do you also know how much that has been budgeted for the host community? And the royal family takes the lion's share. Listen, you're just trying to be a novice. You're just trying to be a fool. No. But I will do everything in my power to expose them at their agenda. Just leave me alone. Majesty. Greetings. Greetings. I sent for you. Um, Amori. Your Majesty. I need you to tell me the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. I am going to reward you handsomely for it. Your Majesty. You do not need to reward me for the truth. I was trained to always abide by the truth. Good. I know why I'm telling you this. Your Majesty, I swear my allegiance to the throne of Agada Kingdom, and I owe you the truth at all times. You sound very convincing. I hope you will back it up with honest answers. Yes, Your Majesty. Good. Yes. Is Odinga sleeping with our willing? Your Majesty, I do not know. <laughs> Don't give me that. He is your friend and you should know. Your Majesty, how am I supposed to know if, if they are sleeping with each other? That I am his friend does not mean I should know when his man who is at work. Remember you gave me your word? You promised me. Can you wholeheartedly tell me now that two of them are sleeping together? Your Majesty, that one I do not know. But I have seen them in compromising positions. What do you mean by compromising positions? Like 
laughing, hugging. But the other one, I do not know, Your Majesty. Thank you very much for your honesty. Thank you, Majesty. You may go now. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. Thank you. Compromising positions. As long as Awele's father has not returned the bride price my late husband paid on Awele, having an affair with Odinga means she is committing adultery. Was this why you asked me to come? Uh -uh. That you have something urgent to discuss? Is adultery no longer a crime in our land? No, no. Were you not the same person who dragged Awole to go and swear before Ogunabali? How did you come up with this again? She is sleeping with Odinga. And the punishment is death by hanging. Okay. Do you have any evidence to support this your claim? I want Odinga to swear before Ogun Abale that he has never slept with Awele. If not for the respect I have for your husband, I will have walked out immediately you mentioned this. Do you think swearing before Obulabali is a child's play? Obulabali does not only kill its victims. It destroys the household and paints the whole world with blood. Why are you now bothered about the consequences instead of the crime? I am bothered about your sanity. Ogunabali has confirmed that Awole has no evil intentions towards you. Mm. Why can't you reconcile with her so that both of you can live in peace and harmony? Milk and honey has different colors, but they live, still live in the same household. I'm very well, thank you. I hope you are not stressing yourself too much. <laughs> not at all. I'm very well. And the baby is doing just fine. Hey! Hmm? Hey! What is it? What is it? It's like my water just broke. Ah! What do you hey! mean your water just broke? Ah! <gasps> so, 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 let me help. Ah! Let me help, let me help, let me help. Ah! Oh, oh. Kaki! Sorry, 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 which way, which way? My back, my back. In the back, your back, just blow it. My back. Blow it. My back. What's sorry, my back? sorry, sorry, I'm holding it, I'm holding it, I'm holding it, sorry. Where's the car key? I'm on it. Easy, 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 breathe, 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 breathe. I'm on it. Where's the car key? Somebody help. Easy, 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 breathe, breathe. Sorry, 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 breathe, easy, 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 easy. 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 I'm on me! You're back. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I'm on me! Where's the cock? Where's the cock? Easy. There is an Ochie whose father died at his conception and the mother has wept for a long time. The fine elephant of Ubuku Forest that will be initiated in the sacred order of kings. This is Onoje, the son of the Ulili water, son of the eagle that is perched on the silk Odala tree, son of the hawk that is patiently waiting on the palm tree, the lion's cub that has a padded tree, the lion does not allow his scum to play with anyone. 
I present one of you. Young man. Okay, sir. Are they gone, sir? That is why I have come, Lord Lutusiaku I of Agatha Kingdom. My apologies that I couldn't make it to the King's barrier. It's okay. Your unexpected visit has made up for everything. At that time, it was speculated that you were dead. That was a rumor propagated by my enemies. But they will live to see my glory and ascension to the throne of Agatha Kingdom. It is not going to be a smooth sail, you know. The elders in council seem to have their own plan. How prepared are you, Kentucky? Because the most prepared has won halfway. Are you prepared? I am like that trouble that came knocking at the door. And when you say there is no chair, he tells you it came with his seats. I am very much prepared for them. Whichever way they want it, I will give it to them. I, Kenneth Madubog, Kentucky, is very much prepared. I like your self-confidence. There is no doubt you will make a great day. Thank you, Lord Lodosiak. Thank you. Here are my angels. She is Chima Amanda, and she is Chizara. My other daughter, Patra, is not around now. They are beautiful dancers that took a reflection of your mother's beauty. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, what's your own name? I didn't mention it. I am Kenneth Wamadibog. Ufunyani to Ken Natai, Ken Najakata, Ken Toki. I have made my mark all the way from Middle East to Asia. And let me add to what he said. He is the next in line to succeed your late father. Wow. wow. That's nice. Many thanks to you, Johnny Cheese. No, it's okay. You can just call me Zara. Zara, good to meet you, Zara. Um, it is okay. Um, Mom, I think we'll just be inside and allow you guys to just check in. All right. Lord, what does he have? He's 
been a great honor to visit the royal family of Ofoge K. I will take my leave now. I hope to see more of you, Kentucky. Thanks for coming. In all fairness, Kenneth Madbagu made a great point. What point are you referring to? Did you not hear him? Of course I did. But I didn't understand everything he said. It is either you didn't listen to him or your ears were blocked. What? Ichiyan Kube, I beg of you. Go on and make your point. But don't in any way try to insult me. I am too big for that. But I thought you said he had no point. Uh, uh, silence. Let us not forget that we are elders and chiefs in this community. It is not a time to trade blames, but it is a time for us to put our heads together and have a general take on this matter. Exactly. That is the point I was making. Uh, it's your look. Please, kindly tell us the point you were to make. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Mr. Kenneth pointed the position of our tradition to avoid situations like this. The king ought to have had a son before his death and not the other way around. Ichiyon Kube, if I don't know you very well, I would have questioned your sanity. Now tell me, which man on this earth ever knows when he is going to die? You should realize that death is an uncertainty that can happen to any man anytime. And that is why I'm saying there should be a stipulated amount of time after the coronation for the crown prince to be groomed to take over from his father and not the other way around. But Ezen Ganga refused to take our advice of marrying a second wife. Don't tell me. You that married three wives, can you boast of a male child? Hi, man. Look, can you hear what this bad man is telling me? Hey, don't just, don't just start. Are you mad? It's you that is mad. You are, you, otherwise, you will see the other side. Of I will strangle you, you here. You can't do anything. Hey! Talk to me yeah, you can't do anything. Oh, no, please. No, you, calm you who am I? I said, calm down. Nonsense. Please. Calm down. It is obvious that at this point, everybody's temperament is at boiling uh, point. We cannot continue this meeting anymore. We all have to go home and contemplate on this issue very deeply. Look, I can't take this from him. Thank you very much, you know. You have spoken very well. I have cola and drinks for anyone who cares. Oh. <laughs> oh no, thank you very much. <laughs> God sends that man to come and wipe the name my ship. Honestly, I I couldn't have withstood the fact that that miserable village witch Aweli would become the queen of this great kingdom? God forbid. Oh! God forbid, mom. Hmm? God forbid. Mom, hmm. that reminds me. I thought you said that Kentucky would be the one to succeed our late father. Yes, I did. But the elders in council are deliberating on crowning her child whenever he comes of age. Hmm. These people and their sinister plots. I wouldn't be surprised if they actually planned this together and murdered our father. I will not be surprised, man. When I mentioned it, Patra said that it was just a conspiracy plot that had to be substantiated. Oh, I'm beginning to see reasons with you, mother. Oh. Then, mother. That means we have to do everything in our capacity to support Kentucky to ascend the throne. This is the kind of energy and spirit I've been demanding from you all. Mm, you have it. And I wouldn't mind becoming his lola. Oh, please sit up. That's as if he's not mine. No, he's not. Wow. Perfect. <laughs> I never knew there are still some unmarried handsome men in this town. Mm -hmm. 
You know, something about the hairs on his body. Like something looking for his Delilah to show him. <laughs> oh, my Samson, I'm coming for you. Welcome, my son. I was not expecting your visit. I have come to find out the dates of my coronation. What date of coronation? The kingmakers have not deliberated on your claims. I, I, I cannot, on my own, make you king. Oh, no. Use that and take care of yourself. And don't forget to tell the gods to destine me for the throne. That is why I gave you that money. Oh no. you king on my own. All this money you're dropping. Ken 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 Jakarta Ken Indonesia um, How did your meeting with the Uno go? Yes Just because you are not speaking the language he understands The goat only follows the one with the palm fronts. Splash these people money and you will see them dancing to the rhythm of your music. My dear, we don't have time for such an experiment. Let me tell you something. Aside the power and authority, our community has been endorsed as an oil producing area. And because of that, every year, what goes to the king is $15 million. So do everything possible, I mean everything, to ascend the throne. The throne is your possession, so go ahead and possess your possession. If any man rises against you, awaken the beast in you and devour him. Okay. 
All right, just keep me posted. Okay. Is your boss in? My boss? An appointment? No. I see. I will have to inform him first. to the 4 million naira I asked to transfer to my mother. Made the transfer immediately. And also transferred the sum of 500,000 naira to my younger sister. Oh yes. And the remaining balance of 100 million naira. Send it to my personal account. Yes. Do that immediately. Um, boss, uh, Amanda, the daughter of the late king, she's here to see you. Amanda. Let time. Okay. Um, one more thing, Ewe. Next time I'm on a call, don't interrupt me. I can talk you. Don't condone such attitude. Sorry, boss. My apologies. Good. Kentucky's place in this village. I wasn't just expecting you. <laughs> I never imagined I would be here too. But an agent of mine was showing me around this 
landed property he wants me to buy. He mentioned Kentucky. So I felt it will be precious <clears throat> to pay you a visit. That was very thoughtful of you, Amanda. I, I am so glad to see you. Oh God. Tell me. Oh God. What can I offer you? Just tell me. Mention it. I have it all. <laughs> Anything you cooked? I didn't prepare anything, but my job cooked something. Let's just say I want something prepared. Thank you. Then let's go over to the kitchen. to this whole narrative is the arrival of that male child. If she hadn't given birth to a son, she would have easily ascended the throne. I do not consider the poor girl and a male child as threats to my ambition. I have paid a personal visit to the unknown and he asked me to exercise patience. Once the issue is deliberated on and they see reasons with me, I will be crowned as the next king. <clears throat> And so shall he be my king. But while you await the outcome of their deliberation, I suggest you have a backup plan. Mm. Just in case their decision didn't swing in your favor. You see, I never thought of this. You personify every word of the mantra, beauty with brains. <laughs> oh God. I must do something about the mother and the child. I share in your vision and aspiration to become the next king of this kingdom. Thy Princess Amanda will offer my advice any day, any time, and give you the best of my thoughts to actualize it. Mm. Then be ready to stand next to me on the day of my coronation. For every king needs the counsel of his queen. When the crown gets heavy, and together we will build an empire. Uh -uh.
Mr. Kenneth. Mr. Kentucky. I hope there is no problem. Kentucky is a man of peace. I have come so we can deliberate on this issue and settle amicably. I cannot remember having any score to settle with you, Mr. Kentucky. Quit the pretense, Odinga. You are the chief guard of this palace. You know about the disputes I have with the cabinet members in succeeding the late king. I don't think I have the influence to crown or say who will become the next king of this land. The influence you claim not to have has been the stumbling block to my own ambition. I don't understand. How do you mean? I have been briefed about the two lovebirds. And the peacock came and snatched one as his spouse. I am willing to reignite the love story. Kentucky is willing to make an offer of 15 million naira for you both to abscond from this palace. Pick any country of your choice in Asia, and I, Kentucky, will fully establish you both there. Um, Mr. Kentucky, I am not in a better position to make such decisions. I understand, two lovebirds. Take your time and deliberate with her. I await the feedback. Kentucky's offer is quite tempting. I think we should start looking into the list of Asian countries and see which to go to. Aha! I suggest Singapore. I think Singapore is a good country for us to relocate. My father always said, A man does not go far away from where his calm is roasting. I don't understand. I thought this has been what you've always wanted. To get back your freedom. Things have changed. Everything. How do you mean? I think it has been predestined that I will be the one to birth a son for the king. Just so his throne does not depart from his lineage. All of a sudden, you are now predestined to bear a child for the king. Have you forgotten how you cried uncontrollably? And I'm... And, and, and... All those were in the past. My, my, my instinct tells me that my days of sorrows are over and very soon fortune will smile on us. Now talking about fortune, which could be better than the one Kentucky offered already? Oh, Odinga, you know the, the 
reverence and honor that come with being the mother of the next king. People falling at your feet and heeding to your instructions. Cards, maids, at your beck and call, ready to carry out your orders. I would rather remain a queen than travel to another man's country just to become a second class citizen. Do you know the implications of your decisions? How will it? Have you thought about this? What if it becomes a power tussle? What if Kentucky wins? What will become of you? Odinga, you and I know that I have long waited to return to my normal life. But my father refused, saying it would amount to disloyalty and ingratitude, considering what the king has done for us. My point exactly. Kentucky's offer is more than enough to fix your father's eye surgery. Are you not seeing the bigger picture here? My son belongs here, with blue blood flowing inside of him. Besides, no one is asking my family to return my bright price, because they would rather not reject the girls that laid the golden egg. Mommy? You're right, Mommy. Are you okay? I want you to demand for the paternity test of our Willis child. Ah, come on, Mommy. I've already stayed out of work for a very long time. I need to go back to the US. And you know these things don't come out easy. You assured me that the DNA test will be carried out as soon as she delivers. Oh yes, I did. But then you dragged her to that dreaded shrine. I thought you were already convinced that dad was responsible for the pregnancy. No. No, your father couldn't have been responsible. No. Mom, we've had this debate over and over again and I'm fed up with it. Sweetheart. I know I cannot give you valid reasons now. But I'm, I'm sure your father couldn't have been responsible for that pregnancy. Mom? Is there something you're not telling me? Because this is becoming very unusual. If you really need me to have peace of mind, you have to do this for me. If not, without confirmation, it will haunt me for the rest of my life. I see. Wow. Okay. But only on one condition. You have to tell me everything. Everything. I need to know it all. I will. As soon as the test result is out, I'll surely tell you everything. Okay. That's it. Now put a smile on that face, mommy. I don't like it when you frown. And you look so beautiful when you smile. I'll be married.
Yes, she did. But as the case may be, I am a medical doctor. And only a DNA paternity test would do it for me. In other words, I should also grant the request of every member of your family who has her own way of confirming the paternity of the child? Not at all, no. I never said that. But you saw the way I handled the autopsy test carried out on my father's corpse. And she was vindicated that she wasn't responsible for my father's death. That is the same way I am going to handle this. Okay. Awole. What do you have to say about this? They say a clear conscience fears no accusation. I am ready to cross the hills and valleys of Ugoba and even go up high to the mountains just to prove my innocence. Abia. Um, in that case, I will uh, grant the request of Patra. Wonderful. Amobi. Nine. You and Odinga will accompany them to the hospital where the test will be carried out. Please ensure the security and protection of the mother and child. Mbao. Oh no. Hey. Oh, the very risky. He should not accompany them, knowing his interest in her. Become a manipulation. In that case, Amobi. You will go alone. Very well, now. Better. I have come to get the feedback on the offer I made to you and your lover boy, Odinga. Please, I am a widow of the late king. Widow of the late king. Yes. And the mother to the next king of this kingdom. Really? Mother of the next king. Awele <laughs> of Obike. My offer is still very open to you. Think wisely. I will await the feedback. And I will do no such thing. Mother of the next king. I underestimated that girl. I really thought she was an uncivilized village girl. But she is overtly ambitious. I hope it is not what I'm thinking. Exactly what it is. She didn't stop at rejecting my offer. She rubbed it on my face. 
that she is the next queen mother of this kingdom. Meaning what? That her son is a crown prince to ascend the throne of our great kingdom. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Because I've always known there was this sinister plot by her and Odinga to take over this kingdom. They have awoken the beast in me. I will teach them that the vulture and the ego do not scramble for food. The vulture is a scavenger and the ego is a predictor. Well, whatever you do, do not unveil our plan B until the DNA test is out. Whatever be the outcome of the DNA test, this has taught me that humans are like chameleons. Circumstances make them change their colors. This girl was literally crying and begging to be sent back home after the king died. But here she is, dreaming of becoming the next queen mother. I, Kenneth Madabogo, Kentucky, will make sure she regrets a decision. I didn't summon you both here to beat around the bush. A jiro no eighteen years no fair. I am equal to the task. All you need to do is to swing the outcome of the King Makers meeting in my favor. That's a cash of two million naira. One million naira for each of you. You will get an extra four million naira. Four million. Four. If the decision of the king makers swings in my favor. Ken, wait a minute. You mean all this money is for us? <clears throat> you have surprised us with your great demonstration of magnanimity. Odogu, Odogu, Odogu. <laughs> Can't talk. Have no fears. You are our next king. Yes. You must be our next king. Yes. This is the kind of king we need. Who will be giving us two, two million, two, two oh. million to train our children? Mm. Why will we <laughs> allow a poverty stricken man to be our king? Oh. When we have such vibrant, mm. wealthy a king, mm. hey, you are already there. <laughs> You're already there. Um, in fact, I am going to use my power in this place to make sure that all the members of the elders in council will support your bid. You will realize your ambition. Hey. As far as we are concerned, you are already there. there. You're already there. <laughs> we don't need to waste time. Oh, yeah. mm. okay. mm. 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 No, no, no. Don't do that. No, 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 no. I am supposed to carry the money, not you. But have you forgotten you are older? I'm a younger. It is the older person that should uh, take custody of the money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
No, 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 no. Don't, I, I don't want you to spoil the happiness we, we have got here. No, no, no. Need to respect your old age. I will, but I am going to carry it. Nothing will happen. The money is safe in my hands. Um, Kaena Uwa, Emana, Obochi had the wrong man. Oh, Mako Makeni. Don't go too fast. Uh, don't worry. Don't go too fast now. Don't worry. Ejiro no, Etiaz, Oshé. The lion does not appreciate the abundance of grass. The elephant does not appreciate the abundance of meat. Oh no. I trust you well enough to be wise and take a smart decision on who becomes the next king of the forest. Lions beget lions. Elephants beget elephants. And kings beget kings. Madubogo begets Madubogo. I am the next king of this kingdom. Ono will perform your duty. Ken Madubogo. That's my name. Mara. Son of Chifidna. Son of Ferdinand, the great philanthropist. Your family is rooted in the tradition and customs of this land. I, as Onu, cannot single-handedly crown you as the next king. Onu, you alone can influence the decision of the king makers. If that was possible. We won't be having this conversation. Oh no, there you are. A girl under 18 has no fear. Oh no, no more about Kenneth and Madoborg or Kentucky. Oh no, a girl under 18 has no fear. I hope you're not trying to bribe me with all this money. Oh no, who? No more about Kentucky. Oh no. Use the whole of this money and instruct the gods to destiny me as the next king. That is not the tradition, my son. It will not work. What you need is wisdom, sincerity of purpose that will lead you. Not throwing money around. Agwagongi, Jirakalab, Bulegogi. Sorry about. You have been my husband's friend for so long. Both of you went to the same primary, secondary, and university schools. Why did you do this? 
How could you have done this? How? Well, I've lived with this guilt for so many years. <sighs> when you came to me, desperate and uh, crying that you couldn't uh, be a child for your husband, and that his kinsmen are threatening to eject you from the house. I saw it as an opportunity to have a piece of you. Huh. So I lied to you that it was important. Uh, but in desperation, you didn't uh, check from other sources or even ask him. Why? Why? Why did you do this? How could you have done? Oh my goodness. Ma, I am sorry for what I have done. But remember, it was you who insisted that I impregnate you so that you have children for your husband. You were blinded by the interest in the uh, royalty and uh, you didn't want to lose your plans that comes with it. Ah, what? Mother. So this is it. This is the reason you never believed that that could impregnate Awele. This is it. I'm sorry. Forgive me for what I have done. Yes. You're sorry? Did you say you're sorry, Mom? Don't you dare justify your illicit acts. I am ashamed to call you my mother. I am so ashamed of you. After everything that dad did for you. After all the love and care that he showered on you. He even refused to take another wife when his kinsmen advised him to. All because of you. But how did you pay him back? What did you give him? You made him raise another man's children. I am sorry, uh, um, Patron, but you are the only child of the king. And the, the boy in question is your brother. Shut up! I said shut up! You are a disgrace to the medical profession. And I'll make sure you're prosecuted and you will lose your license. But we are so shameless. Shameless set of people, that is what you are. So shameless! <laughs> Trust the least. I have to go now. Please. Please. 
is a very hard lesson. <laughs> what is going on? What is wrong with her? What is wrong with her? Zara, both of you are pregnant at the same time. Who is responsible? Who is responsible? Can't talk. Slept with him? Uh, this is so much for me to bear one day. How could you? Sarah, how could you? I thought you knew I was into him. I did what I had to do after that very day. Now you listen to me. Next time I release my car for you to wash and you give it to my sister without my permission, you will see what I will do to you. My princess, I am very sorry. I told her but she insists that I give her the key. Why didn't you draw my attention? I'm Why? I'm very sorry, my princess. My princess, she's back. She's honing with my car? You are busy cat walking with my car, right? Excuse me? And is that why you're barking like a dog? Oh, I'm barking like a dog. Mm -hmm. Do you know how stupid you look saying that? Don't touch my car again. This garbage you call car. Garbage. You call my car a garbage of when you don't have one. <laughs> anyway, I just want to warn you for the last time. Don't take these filthy legs of yours and ride on my car again. <laughs> mm, this will all be over very soon. I will become the next queen of this kingdom when Kentucky ascends the throne. And not even a thousand of you will come close to talking to me in this regard. Excuse me. <laughs> sure. You can ask Kentucky. <laughs> he enjoyed it. <laughs> hey, 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 you, you, you. Did, did you hear her? She wants to be the queen of this kingdom. <laughs> oh my goodness. She wants to be the queen of this kingdom! Oh god! <laughs> I took his number from your phone and then we got chatting. I, I, I started chatting up with him. You are nothing but a cheap slut! He didn't tell me that, sister. Yeah, let's 
just told me to sit down. No, 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 no. You're my queen. Really? Because you rule my house. Mm. Are you not going to take it easy? Oh no. Kentucky will undo you with care. Just go ahead and kill me. Oh la la. To Kentucky's bed. I'm ready. <laughs> Do you know that? Clear war! And I shall give them war. How is that then? That I am different from every other one. flimsy excuse, no story, wherever he is, track him, find him and kill him. Are you sure that's where he is? Then, I will be there in the next 15 minutes. Let me kill him myself. In my 
heart, in my soul. Yeah, no time, I'm alone and I'm a true. This is a very wicked world. Assassins. What is this world turning to? You mean Awale is dead? I'm Obi too. I watched this assassin shoot them. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. Let me assure you that this baby is safe with me. Nothing is going to happen to him if that is the last thing we're going to do for Kazenganga. So stop crying. Sir, are you still feeling some pains? Uh, it's going down small, small. Uh, the pain is going down small, small. Uh, get me water, let me drink. Unfortunate twist of fate. <sighs> Why has the road of life taken an unexpected turn? <laughs> the very first day I regained my sight. Take it as you walk well. Mm -hmm. Clean your tears. You know that you just regained your sight. Mm -hmm. Take it as your right. Oh, Awele. 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 You have always wanted me to be well. You have always wanted me to see. Awele, now I can see. Awele, I can see. Awele, where are you? Awele. Oh. <laughs> we know you are heartbroken. But please, take, take this news like a man. All right? Awale is a loss to everybody. She was a beautiful soul. 
Ah, huele. Ah, huele. Oh, no. That is my grandchild. <clears throat> Your grandchild is safe and sound. Yes. Uh, at the due time, we will bring him to see you. All right? Please, I would like to see him. He's my only consolation now. Please. <laughs> we will be on our way. We will have some other issues to attend to. I will. Please, don't lament too much. I will. I've told you to When you do business with ten men to one man before, everyone smiles in the bank. <laughs> Mr. Kentucky, you are a very wonderful man. It's nice doing this business with you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> more to come. I can't believe I have all this. Thank you once more. Let's stand by the to the minister. You are under Hands up. Drop your weapon. No. No. Give me that gun. Give it to me. Stupid. You all are under arrest. In your best interest, remain silent. Now move. Move. Some more it. This world is strange. Oh. Huh? Can you see this? No single soul in this palace. No queen. Nobody. Hmm. Huh? It's your work. Huh? The world is unpredictable. Our mm. palace that used to be full of life. Not even a single soul is here. Hey. This is worrisome. Worrisome. Mm. Where do we go from here as a people? Who could that be? Ah, who's that? Ah. Odinka. 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 What? Child? Odinga? What is the meaning of all this? This is Eze Ganga's child. The one he had with Awele. Hey! Eze Ganga's child! May the gods be praised. May the gods be praised! Ha! <laughs> there is hope for our land! Very great hope. <laughs> oh no! You have Odinga to thank for this. Odinga! May the gods bless you abundantly. Hey, Odinga, may the gods reward you. May the gods reward you. I'm alone and I'm a joke. I'm a joke. I'm a joke. I'm a joke. 